All right, my name is Daryl Ebbing. I am uh, an Emeritus Professor of Chemistry at Wayne State University. What we have tried to do in writing our textbook is take into account the fact that students not only come with different skill backgrounds, but they come with different uh, ways of thinking. It's not, it's not simple. So what we've tried to do over, over many editions is to develop a wide uh, variety of scheme of features that would uh, uh, one student might might say, well, that's not useful to me. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't get in their way, but others will pick up on it. What Steve and I have tried to do in this book is to make sure that we have not only the problem solving skills and have the student understand how to solve problems. What we have tried to do is to also incorporate the conceptual material. The concept has to be there. We have understood this, and I think that we have tried consistently to apply it. When you give the in-text example, you are again are trying to, to get the student to understand the concept by doing a specific problem. We don't bog the student down with unnecessary detail, but on the other hand, we uh, try to weave in the chemistry and the relevant material from everyday life into that writing. We start out with a specific uh, kinds of things to, to illuminate the material, and then we go to a very, um, the, the principles, and finally, try to illustrate those principles with more detail. And then finally after that, a problem solving approach that uh, is really, I think, a very strong point of the text. So we want, we want the student to be able to, to visualize, to understand concepts, uh, even when there aren't any numbers to run. The fact that we have gone through uh, 10 editions uh, is an important thing. We, Steve and I, are both very much interested in producing a, uh, a superior text.